Hi everyone, welcome to Binge BL, and this is the storyline of the BL series I Told Sunset About You Part 2, which will sum up episode 3 until the end of this series. If you haven't watched the first part of the storyline, then go check them out here. Teh is wondering why he suddenly obsessed with the smell of coconut. Teh told Dan that he won't be able to accompany her these few days because he must wake up at 4 a.m. to tutor L, which makes Dan obviously jealous because Teh never does that for her. L is confused about his feeling towards Teh and Bess. In his dilemma, either to choose Teh for tutoring or straight to home with Bess. I will choose Bess. Their group decide to go for a trip to Al's resort together. Along the trip, Al stick with Teh, but Al realized that he's oddly jealous every time Teh is talking nicely to them. Later, Al just bus as his roommate. Teh is watching both of them from afar. Al, who realized that Teh is constantly checking on them, he comes closer to him and lying his head down on Teh's lap. At 4 a.m., when they are about to study, Al told Teh that Buzz asked him to travel after finishing the admission exam. But oddly, he doesn't feel any excited oh, about it. Teh jokingly point out that Al must be fall for someone else already. Al admits in silence. Teh asks Al to open up to him, who is that person actually. Al answer that Teh probably already knows. Both of them keep in silence for a while. Teh said he didn't know, but he just want to become closer to Al. And he got jealous every time Al attached to someone else. Okay. Teh apparently really fought for coconut sand now. He's sniffing the word card that belongs to L. Teh and L go to the beach where they used to go together, running with bare feet on the white sand. Such a beautiful scene. When their face about to get closer, Teh is only putting his head down on L's shoulder and hug him. Teh got confused with his own feelings once again. Al stops him and tell him They go back to Teh's house and rewatch their childhood memorable drama. Moving closer to each other, Al said that his legs are sore due to a long walk they are having that day. Then, I'll start to rub Teh's tie. Teh also move his and towards L. This intense scene feels so breathtaking until Teh's mom appears. Both immediately stop what they are doing. Teh, who's in gay panic, jump closer to the fridge. <laughs> Oh, 
ผมไม่ต้องเป็นห่วงครับ While studying together, both of them leaving the book and looking to each other eyes instead. Come here. The scratching elf back. Elf moves his face closer to him, but that turns him around, then continues scratching his back. He hugs him slowly and lets elf lie in his arms. He starts caressing him, giving him a kiss, and rubbing wildly. Suddenly, Teh stops his action. When Al tries to get closer to him, Teh avoids it and says, "The woman is lying to me." Look at me. They have not much interaction. They are having family dinner at Teh's house that night. Brohun brings his girlfriend home, and Teh's mom asks Teh to also introduce his girlfriend in the future. Then it's mentioned in that conversation, which apparently makes Al upset. Tess's mom, without a clue, asks Al to tell her if Dan and Tess get in a relationship. <laughs> Tess gives Al a ride home. They had a little argument about Dan. กูไม่อยากให้มึงงอนเพราะเรื่องแค่นี้ฮะอนดะเน็กซ์เดย์ท่าและเดนกัดอินอันอาร์กิเมนต์เดนซิมส์อับ Sad when she finds out that Teh doesn't seem to care about her much compared to the past. Al messaged Teh, and he knew that Teh was ignoring his message. Teh asked Al to not have to tour at home like usual, but at a nearby cafe instead. Teh is afraid of their action being watched. Al got a bad score for his Chinese, and Teh put all his effort in making the idiom spook for Al. Al cries, and both of them stay silent and look at each other's eyes. They hide themselves under the stairs and hugging each other. They go swimming like they used to, diving into the deep sea, where there's nobody, and having a passionate kiss under the sea. I wonder what they would do for the night. Okay. But Teh replied that it's quite nice if they stay as a friend. I was in subset and asked Teh if friends do what they did. Teh apologized and promised to him that he won't do the same ever again. I was surprised. Did he do something wrong? Because he can see clearly. That they both have the same feeling. I don't know what you're like. What am I? Teh adding that his feeling might disappear soon or later. Al cries and leaves Teh alone. Oh, my mother, I'm so sorry. The child, my mother. Yeah, the problem is solved, my child. Teh goes to Dan's house. And ask if she loves him. Then answer, of course she does. I love you. But oddly, they just can't reply to her. Yeah. 
L doesn't show up in the admission exam day. He purposely giving up and decide to take over his family business instead. His friend who know it from bus then contact Teh. Teh who is worried about L decide to give his quota for L instead. Then who had dinner at Teh's house appear as their girlfriend but she's mad at Teh who had sacrificed his quota for L. Then knows that Teh is running from the fact that he actually loves L. Teh apologized to his mom for the truth behind. His mom got so devastated. Teh cries on his brother's shoulder while saying if only there's something he could do to make his friend pass the exam. He cries again after he found out that Brohum and his mom have prepared gifts for his post-admission exam. Teh burst into tears when he opened his revision book. It's clearly seen he had put so much effort for L. The last day of tuition class, Bas confessed his love to L. But there's nothing Teh could do. He just watched them from afar while holding his tears. On the exam day, Teh and L met after a long time since they talk. They encourage each other. L says that he's seeing bus now. Teh seems can concentrate on his exam and cries in the restroom. After finishing the admission exam, Bas and L walk home hand in hand. L asks if Bas feels ashamed about it, but Bas denies and continues to hold Elle's hand. Brohun seems worried about his little brother having a heartbreak. Then Tech come out to his brother and confess that he falls for Elle. Brohun tells him to keep pursuing <laughs> whom he likes. However, they decide to deny any feelings towards a guy. For all this time, he only had eyes for a girl. He is afraid to come out to all his friends who are all dating women. Moreover, his mom might be against it. His brother tells death to not be afraid of what people think, because whether likes or dislikes, people gotta judge with their own minds and there's nothing we'll do to change it. He asked Teh to tell their mom when he's ready. But now, it's too late because now El is seeing Bass. When El hears Teh's favorite Oz is playing behind, he can no longer hold his tears. The day of announcement of admission exam finally arrived. El got into his first choice college, while Teh got into his second choice college. Bas purposely drive out to Teh's house. Bas could clearly see that Teh is the only person Al wants to meet the most. It's already painful for him to watch Al being sad the whole time. Al turns back and gives Bas a hug. Bas tells Al if he's not ready yet, he could come back anytime. Al cries and apologizes to Bas. Teh apologizes to Dan and confess that the feelings he had for her it's true, but now he just become confused. They remain as a friend. Elf visit Teh's house, but Teh isn't there. He told Teh's mom that he will run as his votive. 
ถ้ากูสอบติดนิเทศอนันตศาสตร์ไปไปแหละมุงเทพว่ากูสอบติดแล้วไม่เจอพระอาทิตย์อ่ะมึงต้องวิ่งใหม่ไปเรื่อยกว่าจะเจอวิ่งกับกูก็ล่ะได้Thoughts on the comment below, and see ya on my next video. Bye.